Hi everyone, welcome to RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now let's continue our lectures on organic clade and series. Today I'm going to discuss about uh, part 5 in chapter 19. That is nothing but uh, electrophilic addition on alkene. Okay. In this class we are discussing about uh, two things. That is uh, dihydroxylation. Dihydroxylation followed by the like uh, di those dihydroxyl compounds simply glycols. Those glycols cleavage or 1,2 diols cleavage. 1,2 diols cleavage okay in this session we are discussing about these two things one is the dihydroxylation how it forms the dihydroxylated products and second one how it is cleaved okay so after the cleavation of dihydroxyl product what we will get in different different cases like a periodate case and ozonolysis case okay now let us discuss the first one that is a dihydroxylation okay dihydroxylation means is nothing but a, a simple thing so this is the alkene Whenever we use the dihydroxylating reagent, we will get the like both dihydroxyl group on same side or both dihydroxyl groups on opposite side. So the same side is nothing but sim addition, opposite side is nothing but anti addition. Okay, here two hydroxyl groups add, add at the same place, same phase. That is, if it is the plane of the molecule, then two hydroxyl groups added above the plane, then it is a sin addition. Or two uh, added uh, bottom of the plane, it is also sin addition. So one above and another one is below, or one below and another one is above. That is the called uh, anti addition. That is called simply anti addition. So in case of any simple molecule, like it is the cyclohexene, which is treated with osmium tetroxide we will get the those syn diols those syn diols this is the syn dihydroxylation product this is nothing but both are in the same plane okay so both are in the thick plane this is a syn dihydroxyl product syn dihydroxyl product okay so now how it is formed how it is formed based on the mechanism we looked at uh, the mechanism of uh, osmium tetroxide reaction okay so osmium tetroxide always gives this syn addition only Okay, it was explained by the mechanism. Now let's move on to the mechanism. Very simple thing. So here it is the alkene. Let's imagine. So this is the simple alkene which can treat it with uh, like here R and R dash. Uh, both are R, doesn't matter. So here oxygen, osmium, oxygen, 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 oxygen. Okay, the bonded to electron shifted towards the alkene. Then again another more bonded to electron will shift it towards the carbon atom. It becomes a carbon ion. That carbon ion shifted towards the oxygen atom, then bonded to the electron shifted towards the more deficient, electronically deficient osmium atom. So th this is uh, like a cyclic formation. This is nothing but a pericyclic reactions. Okay. Now those pericyclic reactions were discussed in the letter of the cases. Okay. So this is the osmium tetroxide chemistry. Now here, this alkene which can forms the like a ester link ester linkage with the osmium compound. So here osmium, osmium, osmium. So this is simply it is called as a osmate tester. Simply it is called as osmate tester. So after the formation of osmate tester, here it is uh, followed by the hydrolysis. It becomes cleaved. Okay. So uh, the formation of osmate tester, it, it is very unstable. Whenever it undergoes the like hydrolysis, it gives the uh, our final desired product. Okay. Now here two cases are there. Like here two competition is there. Carbon oxygen bond is there. Again osmium oxygen bond is there. Okay. Here it is the carbon oxygen. Here it is the osmium oxygen. Now the in this case we are uh, compete with the two things. One is if carbon oxygen bond is cleaved or uh, either osmium oxygen bond is cleaved. So this is the two questions, two question marks. Okay. So let's imagine. So here carbon oxygen here, like osmium oxygen. The electronegativity of carbon and oxygen here the electronegativity is approximately two point one here three. So the electronegativity is three here it is less than one. Okay, almost all less than one. So the more electronegativity difference is observed, so more electronegativity difference uh, that indicates uh, it is more polar molecule, more polar molecules readily cleaves. Okay, the more polarizable, so it can easily forms the negative and positive charges. That's why it this one is readily cleaves over than the carbon and oxygen. Okay, so as, in osmium ester, osmium oxygen bond is cleaved. Okay, this bonding cleavage is also affected by the uh, like uh, some of the compounds uh, by using the tertiary amines. Okay, some of the cases if we use the tertiary amines uh, which can bind with osmium metal. So here osmium and the tertiary amines. Here tertiary amine is there. So the tertiary amine and osmium bond is uh, more strengthened. So here the bonded two electrons will shift towards the more strengthened tertiary amine bond. Then here osmium oxygen bond is uh, lesserly strengthened. That means it is weaker. It 
becomes weaker. So this bond is when whenever this bond be getting uh, more strengthened, then automatically asthmium oxygen bond is cleaved. Okay, this is the one of the method to increase the rate of hydrolysis. Okay, so after getting the asthma tester, we can use it the like um, tertiary amines, either N NMO that is N methyl morphine and oxide. Those kind of tertiary amines are used. That is nothing but co catalyst. So the, those uh, tertiary amines will enhance the rate of hydrolysis reaction. So we will get the like our final desired product. Our final desired product. Now here R R here O O here. Hydrolysis means uh, positive getting uh, OH, negative getting H. So this is the simple thing. So O becomes OH, O minus becomes OH plus uh, osmium OH, OH double bond O, double bond O. This is very simple thing. Okay, here two hydroxyl groups added on the same side. Okay, so it can easily be written as like a like this. So either above the plane or below the plane doesn't matter. So this is single dihydroxyl product. So what is the stereochemistry of uh, osmium tetroxide? That is the syn dihydroxyl product. Syn dihydroxyl product. Now here, osmium tetroxide, simple thing. Here it is the OSO4 can become H2OSO4. H2OSO4. Here oxy oxidation state of osmium is plus 8. Why? Because 4 oxygens are there. Each oxygen is carried by the minus 2. 4 2s are 8. Okay. Now here, osmium and oxygen. Here 2 hydrogens and uh, 4 oxygens. 2 plus X plus minus 8 that is equal to the 0 so 2 minus 2 plus x minus 6 is equal sorry x minus 6 is equal to 0 x is equal to 6 x is equal to 6 here oxidation state is a 6 okay so oxidation state it reduces from 8 to 6 that indicates here itself it reduces it oxidizes to others that's why it is a simple example of oxidizing agent okay this is a simple example of oxidizing agent this was clearly mentioned in the like uh, Clayton textbook in the chapter 19 okay so here alkene which can treated with osmium tetroxide we can easily get the like a similar dihydroxyl product sin dihydroxyl product now let us discuss the some of the simple examples Okay, now let us discuss the, some of the simple examples regarding to the osmium tetroxide. Here it is the like a very simple example or R. This is the trans compound. So trans compound can treat it with osmium tetroxide. We can easily get the like a syn dihydroxyl product. Here OH, here OH. This is the syn dihydroxyl product. Or in case of the cis compound. So cis compound osmium tetroxide in presence of like NMO, so here also NMO, uh, it can easily treat it with osmium tetroxide, we can easily get the, this kind of uh, dihydroxyl product, this kind of dihydroxyl product. Okay, so this is the compound. So generally, these kind, these kind of any like uh, carbon materials, we can write the in-plane symmetry, that means uh, here, uh, cis type of symmetry, we cannot return the general examples, so we can easily return the this type of geometry okay that type of geometry it requires a, a cc bond single rotation cc single bond rotation which can rotate the 180 degrees it doesn't matter okay it doesn't happen so which can rotate the 180 degrees nothing nothing will be changed okay now so it can rotate the molecule here r here oh is the above the plane so then one to two electrons above the bond two electrons will shift it to the bottom one then r becomes a top r becomes top so then here the rotation of uh, 180 degrees of this CC bond, here the three groups are there, one is a uh, hiding hydrogen, so these three groups uh, pairs will be changed, okay, so if R becomes bottom to top, uh, then above the plane becomes below the plane, below the plane becomes above the plane, here OH will get the below the plane. OH will get the below the plane. So they are given the questions like this, but they are given the options like here, okay, so they accept the questions like this. But uh, we are uh, tried with uh, osmium tetroxide, it is a syn addition, that's why we will choose the syn, syn dihydroxylated product. But finally it was uh, uh, like uh, restricted by the, some stereochemistry, we will get the trans type of molecule. Okay, if they are given in the alkene, in alkene geometry with the cis, but we will get the, like uh, after the osmium tetroxide dihydroxylation, we will get the trans product. That is the exception uh, in, in case of osmium tetroxide, you can notice that. Okay, any type of uh, single molecules, like a single type of molecules, here it is the olefin is there, okay, so which can treat it with osmium tetroxide, in presence of NMO, that is co-catalyst, we can easily get the like very simple materials, like dihydroxylated products.
your OH and OH. This is the simple dihydroxylated product. So not only aspartic tetroxide, some of the alternative methods are also there. So though, uh, for preparing the aspartic tetroxide methods. Okay. So here some of the alternative preparation methods. This is the olefin. Olefin can treat it with MCPVA according to our previous class knowledge. So it can easily forms the like a, a syn epoxide. So epoxide always a syn, nothing is happen. Okay, that means uh, uh, anti is cannot happen. So syn epoxide is formed. So after the like a, a nucleophilic addition of water, it gets the quite opposite plane of the hydroxyl group. Okay, if uh, epoxide is the above the plane, this is the plane of the molecule. Epoxide. Uh, forms it like this that means here it is the above the plane of alcohol so uh, incoming nucleophile cannot approach the above the plane okay it can approach the bottom of the plane that's why it having the like bottom plane of alcohol OH here as usually O minus O minus will get the H plus from water then it, it becomes OH so this is the anti addition product okay epoxide followed by the like OH minus uh, OH minus uh, addition it gives the anti addition in, in case of like our osmium tetroxide, it gives the syn addition. Okay, this is the major difference between the like uh, dihydroxyl formation. Not only these type of materials, some of the reagents like uh, alkali, alkali KMnO4, as well as Woodward and the pre-washed oxidation, Woodward and the pre-washed oxidation. These will also gives the syn dihydroxyl, sorry, dihydroxyl product. Among these two, like first one is osmium tetroxide and the last one is a uh, opening of epoxide. Can you write the, um, these reagents like this, opening of epoxide. So first three are syn dihydroxylation, bottom two are anti-dihydroxylation product. So this matter cannot given in the clidal, but I will give the, uh, this matter for the sake of simplicity to understand the like alkene to dihydroxylation product. So this is the overall dihydroxylation stereochemistry. Okay, now let's move on to the like opening up of these dihydroxyl groups. That is a cleavage of uh, glycols or cleavage of one to diols. <coughs> I think it is clear. If there is any doubt, mention in the comment box. Okay, so cleavage of uh, glycols. Or one comma two diols. So here it is the like a glycols, one two diols. So it can possible for the two types of uh, cleavages. One is periodate cleavage, periodate cleavage. Second one is ozonolysis. Okay, in presence of ozonolysis. So the uh, like uh, after the cleavage, it gives the like corresponding carbonyl compounds. It gives the corresponding carbonyl compounds. Now let us discuss the these two cleavages, periodic cleavage and ozonolysis. So let us discuss the one by one very clearly. The first one is periodic cleavage. Okay. Now let us discuss the first one that is nothing but periodic cleavage. So first one, periodic cleavage. Okay. Here it is the simple alkene which can treat it with osmium tetroxide. You can easily find the like diols. Okay. Here it is the Syndiols, so which can treat it with a sodium, like a sodium periodate. This is nothing but a, which is came from the hydrogen periodic acid. This is the parent compound of uh, periodate. Okay, so the salt, sodium or potassium salt of periodic acid is nothing but sodium periodate. Sodium NaIO4 or KiO4. These are the salt of uh, periodic acid, which is simply nothing but sodium periodate or potassium periodate. So which we can treat it with a uh, sodium periodate. We will get the, these kind of uh, ester. Here in previous case we will get the like osmium ester. Now here we will get the iodate ester. Okay, OH, OH. The two nucleophilic additions will use the like uh, two OH groups. Okay, so this is this kind of uh, osmium uh, like iodate ester we will, we will get. Uh, then followed by the cleavage of uh, iodate ester. So this is the compound. So here R double bond O R. So this is the byproducts. This is the like a uh, main products, not the byproducts. The byproduct is uh, another thing, H2, uh, like uh, IO4, H2IO4. That is also reduced. Here we will get the carbonyl compounds. Here we will get the carbonyl compounds. This is the simplest mechanism. Okay. So alkene, which can treat it with osmium tetroxide, we will get the diols. Those diols are cleaved into corresponding carbonyl compounds, which which can simply represented as aldehyde. Here also aldehyde. C double bond O R. So we get the two kinds of aldehydes. 
there are also aldehydes. Okay, so we'll get this, these two kinds of aldehydes by using the periodate cleavage. Periodate cleavage. Now the second one is a very simple thing that is nothing but a ozone analysis. This is a very important one for the competitive exams. So you can remember these things like a ozone analysis. Ozone analysis. So in case of ozone analysis, like direct carbonyl compounds are there. Okay. So the direct carbonyl compounds which can treat it with O3, which can treat it with O3. So it forms the like a, this kind of okay. So now let's let's discuss the very simple thing of uh, ozone formation. Okay, here plus and O minus. So which is treated with uh, like our corresponding olefin. So the negative will attack over there. Then bonded to electron will shift it towards the carbon atom. Then it becomes minus. That minus will attack over the oxygen. Bonded to electron shift it towards the oxygen atom. It gets the negative and positive. It becomes neutral. R R oxygen oxygen oxygen. Okay. Here we will get the, this type of compound. Okay. So after using the like uh, after getting the this type of compound, it can easily cleaves the molecule like this. Okay. So now here double bond O R plus O oxygen getting the negative charge oxygen double bond O R oxygen double bond O R so simply this compound easily attacks the O minus O double bond O R this compound easily attacks the like this okay the negative charge attack over the electrophilic center then it becomes a new oxygen carbon bond then bonded to electrons will shift it towards the oxygen atom it gets the negative charge those negative charge attack over the electrophilic center it gets the like a uh, excess of counter then bonded to electrons will shift it towards the oxygen atom now finally we will get the, this type of compound so here it is the positive so oxygen oxygen carbon R oxygen carbon R oxygen simply it is called as ozonoide ring ozonoid ring okay so by using the like mild reagents here it happens ozonoid ring formation by using the very mild reducing agent very mild reducing agents like dimethyl sulfide or trimethylamine or like pph3 by using these type of very mild reducing agents we can easily get the corresponding carbonyl compound you can easily get the corresponding carbonyl compounds. Here it forms the like a, a dihydroxyl product, like that of a dihydroxyl product. Finally, we will get the like a carbonyl compounds. Here also we will get the aldehydes. Based on the adjacent substituent of uh, olefin, we will get the either aldehydes or ketones or carboxylic acid or alcohols. Now let us discuss the uh, uh, some of the examples regarding to the these ozonoid compounds. So th these three points are very important one. Uh, don't forget uh, those three points. Now here it is the olefin. Simple thing. Sorry. So this is the simple olefin. R and R dash. Okay, which can treat it with O3. First reagent. Now the second reagent is SME2 R NME3 R PPH3. So these are the secondary reagents. Okay. So we will get the these type of molecules we will get the here aldehyde and here also aldehyde so these two kinds of aldehydes are getting these two kinds of aldehydes are getting now the second molecule similarly first one is O3 so now the second one in presence of a, like a, instead of these type of mild reducing agents we will use it the like a peroxide okay so mild reducing agents which can reduce the compounds but uh, peroxides which can oxidize the molecules now we will get the these kind of carboxylic acids okay so o3 followed by the h2o2 we will get the carboxylic acids okay so the finally olefins O3 followed by the reducing agents like in prince of lithium aluminum hydride or sodium borohydride. So we will get the alcohols as a major product. Alcohols as a major product. So these three are the very important for the ozone analysis. Okay, so the first one is olefin treated with ozone analysis followed by the 
some of the mild reducing Hess answer. We will get the aldehydes. This is the simplest ozonolysis definition. So this is the simplest ozonolysis definition. Or sometimes instead of uh, mild reducing agent, we will, we will use the hydrogen product peroxide. Now we will get the carboxylic acid. Or instead of mild reducing agent, we use the like uh, any reducing agent. We will get the car uh, like uh, corresponding alcohols. This is the some of the exceptions regarding to the ozonolysis reactions. I think very careful about uh, this uh, second reagent. Either H2O2 will get the carboxylic acid or lithium aluminum hydride will get the alcohol. So don't forget uh, the second reagent. The second reagent is also important one. So generally ozonolysis, alkene will use the aldehydes. That is nothing but carbonyl compounds based on the like adjacent compound. Okay. So in case of second reagent, instead of mild reducing agents, we use it the peroxide, we will get the carboxylic acid or we will use it the like a base, sorry, that is the reducing agents, we will get the alcohol. Okay. So in this session, we have discussed very uh, important things. There is nothing but dihydroxylation as well as cleavages of uh, glycols. That is nothing but a pyruvate cleavage as well as ozonolysis. These two, yeah, these two cleavages are discussed here. Okay. I think uh, these three points are very important for the uh, CSAR exam as well as gate lower level exams also. Okay. So now one more video is there uh, regarding to the our chapter 19. Now I will upload the another video on tomorrow. Okay. So until thank you so much for watching.